Hi everyone. I don't know what is going on with this camera, but it is crooked. We are going to redo my Verity frame that I have a skull on it. I love the skull, but now today is the last day of um, October. And of course, as everyone knows, it is Halloween. So right around the corner, guys, it's going to be Christmas. Christmas is already out in all of the stores. So it is a huge thing. Hold on just a second, guys. I'm going to make sure I can share this over onto my VIP group. I have reopened my VIP group. So if you are not in the VIP group and you would love to be, comment VIP below. If you're catching this on a replay, go ahead and put hashtag replay. I... share this to my group it's been a while it's been a while guys that I've done this I'm sure a lot of you guys are um, out there getting ready to go trick-or-treating um, if you are you know, I hope you're all safe if you're like I said if you're popping in the live say hello if you're catching this on a replay go ahead and put hashtag replay we are gonna redo this surface and I am super excited about it. Um, let me see here. Oh, hold on, guys. I got to turn the volume down. All right. Um, trying to get um, boost my algorithm. So if you can share this, if you're not a shop door designer and you could share this live, um, I greatly appreciate it. Um, hold on guys, I'm sorry. I'm trying to get this all set up here. All right. Okay, so let's get started here. <clears throat> when you reuse one of our surfaces, or maybe you have one at home and you want to repurpose it, you absolutely can with chalk. So I'm gonna spritz this down. I'm gonna let the water sit on it for just a second. It's gonna kind of pull that paste up. Now this paste that is in or on here is white and then it's layered again with glow in the dark. That's fine. If it's layered, it's fine. So you're gonna want your scraper tool and a board eraser. Let me see. I don't even have a board eraser over here, guys. What is going on with me today? Hold on one second. Sorry. I thought I had a board eraser with me. Turns out it's over here by my wash basin. So there's my board eraser. They come in a two pack and they last a long, long time. So you're going to scrape it. The longer you let that water sit on, the easier it is going to be to get that off there. Now, this Verity frame is magnetic. So are our Aiden frames, and so is the London frame. Um, all different price points. So depending on what you are looking for. Um, oh, my goodness, guys. I didn't want that to happen. Um, depending on what your budget is and what you're looking for, we have a lot of awesome options. And you can see that just came right off there, right? So, because I am going to use a Lysol wipe, because I don't want to use a baby wipe, because it takes the stickiness off of our transfers, you can see that that skeleton is still on there. You can totally see that. So, you're going to spritz it again. And you're going to take your border eraser and you're just going to rub that until it's gone. You want to be careful with the Verity frame and the Aiden frame because if you're not, it will mess up this section of your um, frame and you don't want that to happen, of course. Okay, so then we're going to take the back side of our fuzzing cloth which is the microfiber side, and we're gonna clean that off. I can still see the skeleton's face a little bit, so there's still a little bit of ghosting. And you can really see it when you wet it. We don't want that. So 
So I'm going to go back over it again. Just kind of use a little bit of elbow grease, get that off there. I don't want him on there, obviously. I want him gone. And sometimes the longer it sits on there, the little bit more elbow grease you got to do. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Okay, so we have this side, which is our terry cloth side, and this is our microfiber side. So I'm going to clean that all up. All right, now it is going to. I'm going to get another Lysol wipe. You can use any disinfectant wipe, Clorox, Lysol, all these, whatever. I'm just going to kind of wipe this down just to get some of that paste off there, and I'm going to let that sit for a minute while we do the Santa. The Verde frame is very heavy. It is a great quality. It is a beautiful frame, and I love it. So, we are going to use this right here, and we are going to do the Santa on this surface, and we're going to put magnets on the back and stick it on the Verde frame. This is our classic Santa. He's super cute, right? And we'll probably put something like that, like Merry Christmas or something on there. So I'm going to move you guys down so you guys can see better on what I'm doing. I need to get this table more organized. It's driving me a little crazy. Are you an organized person? Do you like your stuff to be organized or do you live in the chaos of crafting? I, I do both. I'm not going to lie. I like a little bit of chaos. If my chalk room, if I know where everything's at, I'm good. I don't know where everything's at, that's when I have a problem. Okay, so we are going to, as always, you want to keep your packaging and your packer sheet because it is reusable. 8 to 12 times, sometimes more. Alright, so let's set that over there. And we're going to cut this apart. And... You want to stay as close to that line as much as possible, okay? So we're going to probably do Merry Christmas in white. We're going to do Santa in red, of course. But he looks really cool in black and white. He looks really cool. And I've seen so many different colors that people have done him in. And he's just cool looking all around. So hold on real quick. Guys, um, sorry, just trying to, um, check things out here. All right. Okay. So we are going to fuzz. You always want to fuzz whenever you are using paste. You want to keep that backer sheet because like I said, it's reusable. You're going to fuzz this. And fuzz some more. You're going to want to fuzz it until it's not super sticky because the stickier it is, um, the less it's going to, I mean, it'll start to kind of um, be hard to pull off the surface and then you'll get like feathering and you'll get maybe where it's bled and all of that. So if you don't want it so fuzz that it's not going to stick, of course. And the more silk screen you have, the less fuzz you're going to need. I'll set that off to the side. And Santa fits right on here perfectly. And of course, this transfer, you can see through it. That is super cool. We might even do his boots black. I'm thinking we might. So let me grab, see if I have, I don't have black velvet over here. I have it back here on my wall. So I'm going to grab that. We could do his boots, but I got to get this stuff off of there first because there's a little bit of, okay. So if we're going to do that, we're going to want to pull out another squeegee. Now, if you're leery about doing anything where you're kind of, doing that and then you're going to tape it off or, or um, pull it up and then 
you're afraid you're going to paste where you don't want to, you can always use our placement tape. I will make a cart link on all of these goodies that we're using here today. So I'm actually going to go since the boots kind of are on an angle a little bit. I'm going to go just like that. And just like that. It's kind of how they look. So we're going to do black velvet. If I can get it open, that would be amazing. All right. It needs to be stirred up because it's been a minute. You always want to stir your paste. It's just like paint. You always want to stir it up. Grab a paste tray just so I have something to set my tools on. And then we're going to take his boots. And then, I mean, you can see I haven't redipped the paste at all. There's still a lot still left on there. My squeegee. Enough that I can get. Just a second. Okay. Now we do have paste singles as well, and we have um, we do have ink singles as well. If you don't want to buy the jars, you're gonna get a lot more projects out of a jar. But you can get at least three B size transfers on average from a um, single. So obviously, the more substrate there is the uh, more paste it's going to take. So there are his boots. I don't know if you can see them. Um, I'm going to pull this all off so I can literally put that right there. Clean off my fingers. We're going to dry that so I know that it's not going to get messed up because I love it. I can see it here. Thing. If you're going to layer like this, like you're going to pull and chop, you're going to want to make sure that this is dry before you put it back down. Because if it's not, it's going to pull that off. That's nice and dry. I'm going to pull the placement tape off of this transfer real quick. Try and do it very carefully though because you don't want to tear the self screen. It's not going to tear it, but you just got to be a little bit more careful with it. Alright. So now we're going to put him back on here. Right where his boots were. Get him lined back up. Perfect. And we're just going to push down where we're going to chalk. Okay, so we're going to do him all in red. I would do his face in, in maybe a different color, but I'm just going to do it in red. And this red is one of our on vogue colors, which means it's not going to be around forever. This one is actually called Cherry. Candy Apple is a little bit um, more of a br bright, bright red, but this one is... A really pretty color, especially for like a classic Santa. To me, it looks more classic to me. But of course, you know, you can pick and choose what ones you want. Now this, these do not come in paste singles. These do not. These only come in paste jars or envelope colors. So to get all the way down here, I'm going to do this little trick and I'm going to use the back, the bottom of my multi-tool that has got a squeegee on it. So I'm just going to use that. I'm just going to go across just so I can get that line crisp. I don't want it to get messed up there. So I'm going to sit this down and clean that squeegee off. Of course I have it all over my fingers, but it'll be fine. So I'm going to pull the Santa. There he 
he is. How cute is he? Okay, so I know a lot of people decorate for Christmas, and I know a lot of people decorate for other holidays as well. I am a huge fan of Christmas. I love going all out for Christmas. Um, Halloween, I go out, but not as much as I do for Christmas. So we're going to dry him. I love how he turned out. I think he's super cute. I'm glad I went with the black rose boots. I think that's super cool. open up our package of magnets. These come in a 12 pack. These magnets are awesome. I love these magnets. I use them for everything. They're sticky on one side. So they work great for when you're trying to make, you know, do a project. So I always do like this with them. I just kind of flip it over. I'm going to stick the magnets on the back. And then we will put him on the Verity frame. And we're just going to use four. And I just kind of, you know, put them around. Stick that off to the side. Bring up the Verity frame. Okay. So there is Santa. What's great about him is you can move him. So if you're like, no, I just want Santa on there and I just want him in the middle, you can totally do that. But because we're going to do the wording. We're going to try and figure out what we want him. If I want to put Merry Christmas on there, if I just want to do ho, ho, ho. I think we're just going to do ho, 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 guys. I like it. I think it's kind of simple um, and unique. I mean, we could always add more. I am kind of a less is more kind of person when it comes to certain decor ideas. But, of course, we can always change it if we want to add more. Or you can always do whatever you want to do for your decor or gift whatever you're making the project for. we're gonna fuzz this I wrote on the back the name I just put ho 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 and then I wrote top and I did a dash mark so I know how many uses I'm getting out of this we could even move him over just ever so slightly if we wanted to and put that ho 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 right there and we could even move him over so he's not so far over. And then we can do this with the bright white. I'm going to just put that on there. All right. And your squeegees are also reusable, everything like that. So our tools are reusable. They just clean up with water. Super easy. There he is. Let me get this dry real quick. Now, keep in mind when you dry this board, since it is magnetic, it will get hot. And you don't want that to, um, you don't want to put anything back on it until it's room temp. Just keep an eye on that as well. But we're not putting anything else on it. Let me move you guys up real quick so you guys can see our cute Santa on our frame. Remember it had the skull on it and we took it off and we changed it up. And now this will go back on my mantle. Super cool. I love it. Looks great. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for all of your support. If you are not a chocolate door designer, please click that SJRE button. Spread the love for me. Tell others about the page. And as always, I will put a cart link with all these goodies. If you purchase anything from the chalk site, please round up with Blessed Love, our nonprofit organization. It is amazing. They have so they do so good for so many. And I will see you guys all here tomorrow for another awesome chalk and project. Talk to y'all later. Bye guys.